Hello everyone, my name is Jerry Beer and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Pearl. So we're about to meet up with Cynthia and go into Lake Valor. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Long time no see. How's your Pokedex feeling? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there is an island inside the lake and that a mysterious Pokemon resides there. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. So they the same subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 201? Yes, 210? Yes, that's right. By the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in, in their uh, hands? Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. We're working on a Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. Okay. I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. Interesting. May help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon you're searching for. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. See you later. Oh, Cynthia, we're not, we're not thrashing. We're not thrashing these nerds. Oh, oh, okay. I completely misunderstood where this was going. fly there. So, Alright, I... I thought we were going to Lake Valor now, but I guess not this time. Whoosh. Um, oh my god. I never did catch a Pokemon here, I don't think. But... Oh my god. What is with these? They're standing firm. They aren't inclined to move at all. They appear to be cured of their chronic headaches. I would love it if all four attacked me right now. Yeah, that's as close to being cured as you can say for Psyduck's. Oh good, you used the secret medicine I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh yeah, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so maybe it'll be worth your while to go. Look the old charm. My grandma has this sort of bossy air about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yeah, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. As for occasion, look on your town map. Can't miss it. Alright, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Alright. So, yeah, it's the only town we're gonna run into. Um, so, this is still part of 210. Fucking ninjas. I don't. I don't think you would call you jumping out of your hiding spot a. Me discovering. Now, if I talk to you, then, you know, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I stopped to look. Just use whatever attacks you got. They're all fine. Another Geodude. I wouldn't think ninjas to have Geodudes. Seems like a weird choice. Alright, awesome with the level up. And another Geodude. I like Geodude, Graveler, Golem, but I am so tired of seeing them. I understand that this mountain... Mount... Corona? I don't remember what it's called. 
but whatever. I get that it's important to the story, but there's too many dang Geo dudes in this game. And Ponytaws! I wish the Pokédex kept a count on how many you've seen of each Pokémon. I wanted to tell me how many of these stupid Geodudes and Ponytaws I've faced. After I fight a thousand, let me turn off their spawn. Honestly, based on the way this is... Okay, um... Based on the way this is going, I could probably just about catch any time I saw a new Pokemon and it would be fine. I just startled you. Wow, you're still struggling to cover. Oh, I'll look at you. Okay. Yep, that's what happened, you little ninja boy. Joel. You and your Zubat. Zubat poison. If he is, this is not super effective. Right, just keep going. Aerial Ace. Switch. Uh, why not? Why would I switch now? Just keep sending more Pokemon to be knocked out. Alright. Suck it, Joel. What's with you? You didn't even give me any openings. You're a terrible glown up. Did you only give me a thousand? I had. You would have given me 500 without that. Cheap skates. Alright, now what do you want, Ink String? You need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. Oh, yeah, they're not gonna be cool or calm by the end of this. Alyssa's gonna be upset. Oh my god, it's a fucking ponyta. We're all gonna be upset. Anyone who brings out a ponyta, Geodude, is getting no mercy. No one gets any mercy. I, you're getting it with spite. Like, most of these people are just in my way. You, I actually want to... And you're an ace trainer, so you'll have different Pokemon. If you have a Geodude... Okay, a Grottle? Don't know. Interesting. Alright, I'm significantly less mad at you, but also this is about to happen. Oh, no, it's only six, that's not bad. Cut her turtle in half. Oh, 
Oh, did you only have two? I thought you had three. all sorts of cool techniques. Are you one of the ninja trios? Davy. Oh god. Davy, why do you have a dust on? Oh wait, death stocks. I was thinking dust noir. Any of them ghost ones. Because those, you know, that'd just be funny to see. Ninja techniques failed to work. 864, come on, kid. Where's the real money at? There's a ninja gym leader somewhere far away. I should become a devotee of theirs. Yep. Nice. Ooh, Shadow Ball. I like Shadow Balls. Buff physique isn't just for show. What a man. Black Belt Adam. Alright, well, yeah. I don't <laughs> care what you're gonna play, Adam, because. Guess what? Aerial Ace is coming straight to your face. I'm tired, is that obvious? I can't believe I survived. Don't kick, don't put your foot on me. Hey, don't kick off my amulet coin. I need that to become rich. Become rich and powerful enough to take off the world. Three level ups. Super Fang, I'm pretty sure it's an awesome move. This cuts the target AP in half. Ah. Uh, I don't really need Water Gun. And it's nice to know that this attack will only do 50%. I'm curious if I use it twice, it takes them from 50 to 25, or from 50 to 0. Learn side me. Nice. Ugawa. Ugawa, you too, buddy. I'll teach you about the charms of fairy Pokemon. Well, at least... You better have something better than something in the Star Raptor family. Okay, a Hoot Hoot. Fantastic. Um, yeah, no, no, nothing my Empoleon can do is super effective against you, but... Watch this. The... Also, the thing with Hoot is you always have to see if you can spot their second foot. That's how you know if it's a good Hoot Hoot or not. Because Hoot Hoot have two feet. Just most games never show the second one. I don't know why. But... That's how you know it's a quality Hoot. Something. I have no idea. Alright, now, 
Where's the hoot hoot at? Okay, I apparently can't rotate it. Uh, I was trying to roll up right beside you. Me, lose to someone so young? I dare say not. Who's your like old timer? Veteran Brian. Alright, Brian. Tell me what you got. A Bleasel. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I forget the water Pokemon. And I, I feel like I say this every time I see a new water Pokemon after a while. That I forget that they're... It's probably the... A, it's a type I don't have much effectiveness against. Yeah, so if it was a water flying, or whatever is resistant to flying, I would be in trouble. But also, nowhere near quite. Point learning a scary face now. If you wanted to be scary, power of use, it's startling. If you want to be scary, you should have thought about that long ago. Alright, I'm gonna gather all these up. So let's get out of here. Is this the city? Alright, so we're looking for an old, authoritative woman like Cynthia. Probably neither of you. Nope. Nope. Possibly? There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there. That only seemed to make him angry. He's saying he will blow the town up with a ball. Okay, Pokemon, damn. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger. I'd punish that space man with my Pokemans. Okay. So you're potentially Cynthia's grandmother. Uh, yeah, we can go battle that guy real quick. Bring you to a place. There's nothing to see here but some ancient etchings. Alright, nerd. I've been told you're annoying everyone. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist. So I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon Ball. So it's going to be a mess with me? Yes! Means you're taking on the world. No, the universe. I can't. There's so many reasons why I can't let you build this town. I don't think. God, that was an option. Like, if that was an option, like Nintendo, are you okay? I know earlier. I'm pretty sure I called them terrorists, but it was mostly a joke. Oh yeah, he's fighting.
I just got worked over and by a kid no less. That is correct. Too much to handle, whatever. I'm out of this one horse town. There's nothing to do here anyways. Alright, are you Cynthia's grandma? Aren't you quite the trainer? I was magnificent. As the elder of Celeste Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me. Hi, Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. Headed over the old charm. I mean, yeah, this old charm is something made in Celeste Town long ago. It's made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. You know, these old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? I'm guessing that's my mission. Check out the ruins! Alright, but that is gonna have to wait till next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying more Pokemon Shining Pearl. And we'll be back at it soon. So, yeah. As always, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye!